Why, hello. Yes, I look the exact same from my last video. Thank you for noticing. Um, I wanted to get some filming done today, so I am going to talk about my February favorites of the month. And I hope you guys enjoy this and keep on watching. If you're new, please subscribe. My name is Max. Thank you so much for stopping by. I super duper appreciate it. And the first product I'm going to talk about is the Verb Ghost Oil. I got a sample of this in my Sephora Play. And I have talked about it before. I don't know how long it's been, but I really love getting this sample. And today, like, I even straightened my hair. And it just makes my hair so smooth and soft and it straightens really well whenever I use this so I'm just I really love it it says it's uh smoothing moringa oil blend it's a weightless hair oil and I just I'm really enjoying it eventually I'm probably going to buy the full size but I don't tend to use heat on my hair too much so I don't really put anything in it other than a leave-in and let it like air dry so I don't have the need for like a huge thing of it so that's why I really like getting the samples of it but anyways if you don't have it and you're looking for a good oil in your life I would try that one for sure the next thing is I got these at Target for $1.99 I think it comes in a pack of three and I've already used two, and they are just little hydrating eye gel masks, which I love. I just feel like I either wear them before bed after I wash my face, and I'm just relaxing, drinking a, hook, a cup of tea, and I just, they're so cooling and nice, and I feel like they just really smooth the under eye and make it less, you know, scary bags under your eye. So, I don't know. I really like them, and it's just a whole experience when you wear your gel eye masks or you're having coffee in the morning and you want to de-puff, and you just throw a pair on, and they're just really nice. The brand is Cubella Professional? Quabella Professional? Not sure. But I got them at Target in the little, like, new beauty mini section that they've created lately so that's that and I really like them and I will probably definitely re be repurchasing these especially since I got three pairs for $1.99 I feel like that's awesome the next thing is a very unexpected favorite I have a used to have a hate relationship with Glam Glow, but now I have a love-hate relationship with them. I got this sample of the Glam Glow Super Toner in one of my Sephora play bags, and it was like months ago, and I've just been like eyeing this, like should I try it, shouldn't I try it? So it's just been sitting in my beauty room, aka bathroom, I just dropped it, for quite some time now, and I finally was like, let's give it a go. You know, I just, I need to try it. If you can't tell that I love it, I bought the full size. I know. And it was like $40 for this thing, which is not something I usually am like, oh yeah, let me spend $40 on a toner. Like totally, I can totally afford that because I can't. And I loved it so much that I was like justifying it, <laughs> but... I don't know it stinks it smells like black licorice and I hate black licorice but it makes my face so smooth and it clears breakouts and it just did something magical for me and I don't know what it is it's just I love it but the last glam glow product I tried was a moisturizer by them and it broke me out and little red bumps all over my face so bad. I like wrote off Glam Glow forever and I was like, I'm not trying you anymore. But I'm really glad that I decided to be like, hey, sometimes stuff doesn't work. Sometimes it does. You need to give it a try. You're not a true beauty person if you don't give stuff a chance. And I'm extremely glad that I did, so. 
I, I do recommend this and I have extremely sensitive skin so this whole like what does it say exfoliating acid solution that sounded like a nightmare to me like oh I thought red patchy dry horrific chemical reaction kind of thing but no I have extremely dry skin I have very sensitive skin you do 100% have to moisturize after this because it will make you dry. But as long as you use a moisturizer, you'll be fine. But it did not irritate my skin and it helped clear my breakouts. So I was like, what sorcery is this? I don't know, but give it a go. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. But it is expensive, so maybe don't want to like it as much as I do because you do have to shake to activate it. And it makes this really cool, like, um, I don't know, like shimmery glow effect to the bottle. So it's also kind of cute to look at. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like I can't justify it, but I'm justifying it. Okay, last product is one that I have talked about before and one that I'm wearing. This is the cella eyeliner pen in purple and i got this in an ipsy way back when and i can't stop using this eye pencil which is amazing but it's like i don't know what man it's just like this purple eyeliner and it goes on so smooth it doesn't bleed into anything it stays on all day and the best part is it comes off like a dream. Like when I take my wipe to it at the end of the day, it just like kind of like, I guess the word would be pill off. It doesn't like most eyeliners I had to sit there and scrub, but this one, as soon as you get it uh, wet with a, I use baby wipes, so I'm sure like a makeup wipe or a face wash or whatever, it just literally clumps up and wipes off. But it doesn't do that to you throughout the day until you're ready to take it off. And I hate having to scrub at my eyes when I want to get my eyeliner off. So this is amazing. I just, they did so good. And I've never heard of this brand before until Ipsy. And I go on their Instagram sometimes and I'll like, like the photos people tag and stuff like that just to see, you know, what other people are using because this is the only thing I've bought by that brand. And they're so nice. They always like my photos and stuff when I tag them in it. And I just really think that they deserve to get a huge thumbs up for this product because eyeliner is a really tricky thing to perfect and to make me love because I'm very picky with my eyeliners and I continuously use this one. So figured it was worth a mention. I'm sure they have a website. I honestly haven't checked it out, but I did get it through Ipsy if you have that. But that is it. I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute. Like I want to drink some water right now. <laughs> Breathe. <sighs> okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. I hope you got some ideas of stuff to try or you love these things too. Let me know if there's something you've been obsessed with for February. I would love to know in the comments down below. See you later. Bye.